The Buffalo gunman was shooting and killing people inside the supermarket. A store employee called 911, but because she needed to speak in a whisper, she says the emergency dispatcher got angry with her and hung up. Now, the dispatcher is suspended and may lose her job. The employee joins me now. Her name is Letitia Rogers, an assistant office manager at the supermarket. Letitia, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Listen, uh, let's start with where you were when the shooting happened. Tell us how this started for you. Um, it was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I was at the service desk working with two other coworkers. I had just sent one of the young ladies on lunch and me and my other coworker were working. I was actually on the phone with a customer. She had a customer at her window. And then all of a sudden you just heard these, you heard and felt these really two large booms. And we just kind of stopped and looked like, what was that? And then I looked up out the window and I saw this customer, this, this lady for her shopping cart, she just stopped and she just had this really funny look on her face. And then she just turned to run. And that was only like a few seconds, but it seemed way longer than that. And next thing you know, you just kept hearing boom, boom, boom. And you hear them coming inside the store and all we could do was just drop to the ground. <sighs> The young lady I was working with, she um, proceeded to open the door and she crawled out on her stomach. I couldn't move that fast. So I just laid down flat on the floor and got against the counter and hope, praying that he didn't see me. And during this whole time, it's just constant, just shooting. He won't stop. It just is constantly going. And I was trying to think fast. and I'm like, I have to call 911. So I reached in my back pocket because my phone was back in my back pocket and I dialed 911 and it takes you to like a, op like an operator. You have to go, th like go through first and then it gives you to the operator. So it sounded like he was going back to the store, but he's still, as this is all going, he's just still shooting and just shooting. It just sounds like you're in the middle of a battlefield. And when the lady came on the phone, I proceeded to whisper because I didn't know how many people there were in the store or anything. I just didn't want to be heard. And I said, ma'am, please send help. I gave her the address and I said, please send help. There's a person in the store shooting. And she proceeded to say to me, what? I can't hear you. Why are you whispering? You don't have to whisper. They can't hear you. So I said, ma'am, he's still in the store. He's still shooting. And I'm, around this time, he's literally still shooting in the background. And I can hear him, like, you can hear the shooting coming back to the front. So out of nervousness, I dropped my phone, but it was in front of me. So the phone never hung up. And because I didn't have it to my ear, I couldn't hear what she was saying. And she said something, and then she hung up the phone. So... I hurry up and put my phone on silent so my phone didn't ring out loud because I did. My phone rings loud when it, when it starts ringing. I didn't want to be heard, so I had to think of the next person to call, and I called my boyfriend, and I called him and I said, "Babe, you gotta call nine one one. It's a person in the store shooting." But I'm saying it in the same whispering tone that I talked to her with, and he says, "In the store?" I said, "Yes, he's still in the store. He's shooting. Please call nine one one." Erie County Executive. Mark Polencar said that there was an in inquiry and explain how the 911 call center looked into your call. I want you to listen to this and I'll get your response. So on Sunday, they went through all the calls. They identified this one call, the issue associated with it. It was completely unacceptable. Uh, on Monday, the individual was put on administrative leave pending a hearing which will be held on May 30th in which our intention is to terminate the 911 call taker. Now he is confirming that the dispatcher is currently suspended and will face disciplinary, a disciplinary hearing where the county will seek her termination. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've gone through a lot. Is that satisfactory to you? Are you satisfied with that? I mean, I'm not a cold hearted person at all and I wouldn't want nobody to try to get me fired, but right is right and wrong is wrong and that was absolutely wrong the way she handled that situation so i mean i do feel like she should be terminated i mean like you see on tv and movies or even 
on real life cases, they'll play the dispatch call back and the operator is calm and trying to keep you calm and trying to keep you talking to get information. I didn't have that from her at all. It was just like I was just bothering her. And I feel like when she hung up on me, she never called back. I feel like she left me to die. And I legit thought I was going to die that day.